Hello there, welcome back to Simon Shed. It's time for my first layout update on my first proper layout. And uh, the first thing I've done is give it a name. Uh, it's going to be called Bodnam Woods, as you probably guessed from the titles of the video. Um, I went through a few options for the, for the name. Uh, initially I was trying to think of a really, really bad pun, um, but I couldn't think of one bad enough or good enough, depending on how you look at it. I uh, also thought maybe I should look at the UK's rudest place names and <laughs> use one of those, but in the end I saw sense. Uh, I went for a sensible option and there's a place just up the road called Bodnam Arboretum, uh, so I stole that name, uh, changed it slightly so it's going to be Bodnam Woods, uh, and it's I can take elements from the real Bodnam, which it sort of has nice... Uh, woodland, ponds, uh, rolling hills, uh, there's a farm there, um, there's a, a restaurant that does a really nice carvery there, I can vouch for that. Uh, so you can take elements from that, perhaps not the carvery element but the other elements, and use those as inspiration uh, and try and copy them and replicate them to some extent in the little layout, which will be Bodnam Woods. So, we've got the name. Uh, first thing we need to do is figure out what we're going to model. Uh, obviously we can do that uh, by just copying something from real life and trying to model that. Uh, we can You can model a busy station that actually exists or a good yard or whatever you like or you can go for total fantasy, just make it up yourself. Um, you can steal other people's ideas, you can go on YouTube and look at their layouts. Uh, go to shows and so on and so forth, or uh, you can buy, specifically for the task, you can buy a book of track plans and uh, steal and adapt ideas from there. So uh, I think the first thing we'll do is give you a little quick review of the uh, Pico plan book and uh, go from there. So here it is, the Pico set track engage plan book. Uh, set track, so it is. It is. It does use set track for all of the layouts in this one, uh, but there's no reason it can't be adapted to use flex track. Uh, and it is an engage plan book, but obviously, you know, it can be scaled up for for other scales. Uh, so let's just give you a quick look at this. Uh, it sort of takes you through right from the start. There's an introduction into what uh, you need to do in terms of different ways of constructing baseboards and ideas on where you can actually fit your layout how it can fold up and such and such and some inspiration as to what you might be able to achieve or not um, obviously not going to go through the whole thing but there's some useful information on basic sort of rail formation in terms of run around loops and shunting and they suggest how you should lay the track uh, yeah so baseboard construction a bit about wiring so starting right from the start obviously they're going to mention the Pico accessories as it is a Pico book uh, I think it's I think it was a couple of quid maybe two or three pounds for this it's Definitely worth the money. Uh, this came with the actual, I bought the Pico set track starter set thing, so it came with the track, uh, the power clips, and this book. So uh, these are the actual plans. I'll just show you a few of them. So we start with a basic sort of loop and a couple of sidings. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, starter track set that I got. Uh, we'll come back to this one in a minute, but yeah, so it starts with the small layouts and then gets increasingly bigger and more ambitious and more complicated, and there's passenger lines and goods lines and all kinds of different ideas, um, I think there's about 20 altogether, some of them are absolutely huge, some of them are tiny little I think at the end there's, look at that one there's uh, the whole of Newcastle there model um, 
I was going to say at the end, I think, yeah, so there's some sort of micro layouts at the end, which is obviously the other the other end of the scale, as it were. So, yeah, 25 plans to be used, adapted, or whatever you like, really. So, yeah, I was looking through this, and I decided to keep it simple and basically use the first or a variation on the first plan in the book so they sort of start it off from a simple loop uh, which is this one and then add to it and then add to it again I've gone straight for this so my design for Bodnam Woods is based on this however I think this uses first and second radius curves yeah I think ST12 is first radius so this uses first and second radius curves but I've uh, adapted it to use gentler curves so that's what I'm basing my design on and uh, now we need to actually get it down on paper uh, which can be obviously actual physical paper drawn out by hand or one thing I tried was sort of cutting out scaled down templates of, of sections of track and moving those around to see what what works best where uh, which is fine but uh, me being me uh, I wanted a way of manipulating the design on computer so I've been using an application called Rail Modeler. Uh, let me give you a quick demo of Rail Modeler and show you what I've been up to. So this is uh, the Bodnam Woods design. You can see how it's quite similar to the plan in the Pico plan book. Let me see even better if I zoom in. So we'll come back to that later. Let me first give you a very quick overview on what Rail Modeler does. So this is your this is your baseboard. You can change the size of it, put in a bit of description and comments. So you can make it. Oh, that's a big one. Two meters squared. So here we've got the different scales, right from Z, H, O, O, N, obviously. Uh, so you pick your scale. And then within that scale you've got, well actually you've got quite a few things you can do, uh, you can even do slot cars, <laughs> uh, but we won't look at that. You pick your track, so you can see the lots of different Pico tracks, Tomix, Arnold. Um, so I'll give you a quick look at the Pico set track. So here's your rail palette as they call it and you literally can just drag and drop the elements onto there let's give you a bit of a zoomed in view then if you want another one the same you just click on the end so let's put some curves in there, that's a tiny little curve where's the big curve there we go and it just clicks together so very quickly you can build up a little layout and it's got all the different turnouts and crossovers and stuff uh, if it's the wrong way you just press this to flip it around until it's the right way you get the idea um, now to construct Bodnam Woods I'm going to use the Pico Fine Scale, so you can also model that in here. Again, we've got all the relevant turnouts, Code 55 turnouts, and the piece sections of one yard of flex track, which you can bend, make shorter and longer, and again they clip together like the other ones um, and you can get more control over that with uh, this edit element so you can make it straight or you can give it a certain radius of curve and actually enter the, the actual value um, oops that's too long you get the idea. 
you can actually have three handles to grab the uh, to control and if you want to create an S shape you need to have the extra four points to control it like that so easy to use and you can quickly build up a layout you can uh, model you know say you want a platform here and use the different shapes you can change the color of them uh, so you can add color to uh, mark out various things uh, which is that one duh, duh, like that so yeah that's the those are the basic features of it pretty happy with that it's I like the fact that you can just go back and just change things and play around with things and if it doesn't work just don't save it and go back to the uh, original one yeah pretty good so let me show you a quick tour of the design we've got the two loops with the large turnouts there so you can cross over from one line to the other and we're going to have a little platform and station there houses possibly something there maybe farm buildings or uh, some kind of buildings the, the actual scenery that's sort of stated on here is completely subject to change really uh, that might not be a sort of industrial factory it might be more rural sort of thing to fit in with the Bodenham Woods theme so a little brewery or or something don't know I've I've put in some water down down here so that should be interesting uh, but yeah the scenery and and some kind of bridge or tunnel over here to get the road over there but as I say that's all still changing and changeable the thing that is fixed is the actual layout of the track so I think we're gonna have a a sort of train uh, engine shed over here and you've got the two long sidings uh, you've got a bit of a run around loop there and the the two sidings off there that I've extended from the plan so that is that is the plan so we will leave it there for now I think and uh, next time I'll show you the start of the uh, construction process thanks for watching I'll see you soon